Houston, Brownsville, you guys are up for discussion. You're off to your morning commute. It is dry this time tomorrow. It will be wet. We have a brewing tropical storm that is going to be moving into Mexico, but all of the weather, the showers, the thunderstorms, the storm surge, it's moving into Texas. In fact, we have tropical storm warnings that are now active for parts of the Texas coast. It's potential tropical cyclone number one. The reason why it's called that is because we don't have an area of closed circulation. The hurricane hunters are on route. They already left Biloxi and they'll be looking for that circulation. But again, we have to do something here because we are going to feel impacts tonight for Texas through tomorrow. So we're th already almost within that 24 hour period. So the designation of potential tropical cyclone number one allows the hurricane center to issue these watches and warnings ahead of time so we can start preparing for Texas because we are going to feel those impacts later tonight through the day tomorrow. So timing is of the essence. Here's a look at the track again. What will be tropical storm Alberto will be moving into Mexico, but this is a weak tropical system. That means all all of the weather is kind of removed from the actual center. There's a look at the hurricane hunters. Again, they are flying into the storm. They're en route. Stay with us this morning because as we get that live data in, we're looking for that closed circulation. We'll show it to you live on air. We have conducive environment in place. I mean, very low wind shear, warm water, a lot of moisture to work with. So again, there's nothing really holding this back from becoming a tropical storm. But important to note that the movement of this is into Mexico. The problem is all of the weather associated with it is going to be to the north of that center of circulation moving into the Texas coastline. We're expecting some strengthening. Right now the winds are at 40 miles per hour and we're expecting those winds to go up to 50. So it's going to be windy as well. Flood watches are up for the entire Texas coastline and they do extend inland to Laredo and San Antonio. Here's a look at how much rain we're anticipating. Max amounts about five to eight. That does mean that we'll probably have some spots that overperform, maybe get up to eight to nine inches of rain. This particular location is actually behind the eight ball. San Antonio, Port Lavaca, Corpus Christi all have a deficit in their annual rain. But unfortunately, we're going to get all those eight inches of rain and make up for that deficit in a 12 to 18 hour window. So it comes at a price tag. Flash flooding is a concern. Here's a look at the movement. Again, we're expecting that tropical storm designation by the end of today. All of the rain moves in after midnight and lasts through the day tomorrow. So again, tomorrow is our impact day. So any preparations that need to be made, they need to happen today. Again, we will have storm surge involved with this as well as wind. We could see wind gusts between 40 miles per hour and maybe 45. Again, a wind gust at that level for the state of Texas. So make sure that you're ready to go. We do have live reports coming in from Corpus Christi later this morning. Craig Herrera is there, so stay with us. We'll check in with him within the hour.